am Carol Siskin, filling in for Greg Kinnear. He's off with President Clinton or something, I don't know. But I'll be hosting tonight's Talk Soup coming up, a promiscuous wife. Talk Soup tonight, 9 Eastern Pacific, following the Smothers Brothers. Did you do it before you were married? If you're going to marry my son, set a date. Does that mean you're having sex with all four of them? Carol Siskin filling in for Greg Kinnear, and this is Talk Soup, and I got the gig, so will security let me take my tag off? Yes, I'm visitor 15. Okay, 15. I'm cleared. Guys, for the next 30 minutes, we're going to focus on your favorite talk shows. Father's Day has become a difficult and confusing time of year for the couple on Thursday's Geraldo. That's because their kids aren't exactly sure who to buy cards for. This is the deal. Paul and Tammy have been married for 12 years and have seven children. Tammy's gotten involved in more affairs than she can count, and now Paul isn't sure which one of the kids, if any, are his. And like, I can't get a date. I, I, I don't know. I knew quite a bit about society, or I should say about certain things that most children her age would not know without somebody showing him. Well, how, how old were you, Tammy? I guess that's what Paul's trying to, trying to say. How old were you when you first made love to a man? Nine. Why are, you sh why are you sure in your own mind, at least, Tammy, that none of your seven children are your husbands? I'm not sure that none of them are. I said I'm not sure that any of them are. You mean during all of the relevant time periods you were sleeping with other men? Not with all of them, but with some of them. Okay. Uh, now, you, you're, you, sir, Roger? Yes. Roger, okay. Uh, have you ever slept with Tammy? Yes, I have. Are you the father of any of Tammy's children? Yes. Do you know Paul? Yeah, he's my brother. <laughs> he's my brother? God. Later on the show, one of the husband's best friends came on and admitted that he, too, had slept with his pal's promiscuous wife. Actually, Geraldo had a hard time finding anyone from her hometown who hadn't. Tuesday, Geraldo hears from residents of an upscale neighborhood who are ticked off about a strip club that's opened up in their suburb. The owner says it's legitimate entertainment for men, but the irate citizens say it's smut. The annual migration of college kids to Florida, known as Spring Break, oh God, again, has come and gone for another year. Since the week-long excursions are typically characterized by drunken revel, 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 give me another word, wanton debauchery, many parents have expressed concern. They don't know how to say the words either. Thursday, Montel Williams met some of those parents, and he reinforced their worst fears by showing them videotape of a trademark spring break event. Watch. We sent some parents down to spring break to spy on their kids, and one of the rituals of spring break is something called a wet t-shirt contest. Let's take a look at this first. 